Hi guys, so I'm back, third video in what feels like a day, uh, three days in a row I mean to say. Sorry, I'm a bit of a hot mess. I It's thunder and lightning, you probably will hear it a little bit, it's storming pretty bad, and my dog does terrible in these kinds of situations. We have a thunder shirt for her, but I tried to get her to go to the bathroom, didn't go well. Here, I'll show you what she looks like right now wearing her, her thunder shirt. Hi Miss Joyce. Yeah, she's a little angry. She does not like going out in this kind of weather, but look what came. And I'm really surprised. One, because it's so early. Two, didn't get an email. And three, a few days ago, I logged on to Ipsy to see if there was any update on my glam room, because I get nosy sometimes. And it was asking me to resubscribe to a bag. And I had seen this happen to people before, and then they ended up not getting a bag, and they got put back on a wait list, or whatever kind of shenanigans unfolded. And then I checked my bank account and I had been charged. So I was really confused and I posted something on their Facebook page, never received a response from Ipsy, and I emailed them and didn't receive a response. So I don't know um, if they're ever going to, if it's a glitch on the website, I'm really not sure. But regardless, I'm really happy to have my bag. As you guys know, I loved, loved, loved my birch box this month. So it's going to be really hard for Ipsy to top this, but we'll see. I watched and looked at and watched. I looked at all the sneak peeks and there was nothing that had me like really excited, but there was nothing that I was like, well, I don't think I'd want it. So, ooh. Oh, the bag is really pretty. That's a really nice bag. I feel like I could use that for many different things. There's nothing. Nope. Okay. So here's what I've got. I've got two cards. One is the Michelle a fan, I think is her last name, Fawn, whatever, the Life Palette. Uh, I've seen lots of controversy about this. I know that they posted something over the weekend about um, buying one of her palettes or a sample or something, and people were like, well, you should just mail us one. I don't have a preference either way. I don't know anything about the palettes. People said they're really expensive, so I probably won't ever purchase one because I really like, if I'm going to get a palette, I really like Too Faced palettes. And I've noticed that Tarte has a really nice palette, so I might go that route if I ever wanted to get something. But I really tend to just like the Too Faced ones because I like it simple. But this is what it looks like. This is a card. It's got, it looks like what appears to be the Life palette, which that's, for me, that's a lot of stuff going on. But what's nice is down here it says, inspired by the need to dress for success and always look polished and perfect to learn how to create a full look. And I have, um... It says sample for evaluation of texture and aesthetic properties only. I don't really know what that means, but I have what appears to be like a small sample of um, a blush and eyes. So that's nice. That's cool. I mean, it meets everyone's needs of trying to try this stuff, I guess. I just wish, I guess, that Ipsy wouldn't just plug one brand, I guess. I wish they would be more open-minded, and I feel like they're really putting a demand on Ipsy subscribers to want this and it doesn't convince me. Anyways, so here is the month's theme which is classic beauty and now let's get into the bag. The actual good stuff. Ooh, okay. Here's what we got. First thing I see is it's so big volumizing mascara and it's inside the clear wrap. So let me just go ahead and get that off quick as I can. I received Pixie mascara last month and it's I I forced myself to use it a few times to really give it its fair chance. It did not impress. Um it just like was to me really hard to put on and I don't feel like I'm that challenged at putting mascara on and then I felt like it never made my eyelashes like really look that nice. So this is what the wand looks oops looks like. It's got a little bit of left over there. It looks to be like a pretty decent wand. It's exciting because I'm almost out of my um, their real sample and I traded with a woman online on Pinterest to get another sample size of it because there's no way I can rationalize spending almost $25 on mascara. So that's almost gone. So this will be nice to try. I think it'll get a good use out of it. It'll be able to really tell. I've never heard of the It's So Big. Um, that's great. I like that one. All right, next up. 
Ooh, we have star looks. Yeah. The last time I got a star looks, it was in some like really aggressive, maybe not aggressive, but just a pink tone that I was like, no, Ipsy, I don't know what human would wear this who looks like I do because it just was such a not a nice pink color. So let's see what this is. I don't know if it's even for the lips or what this is for. Okay, it's an eye pencil. I will say my one complaint about Ipsy bags is that they don't necessarily explain in the bag as I'm opening it what everything is. And I'm not the biggest makeup guru on the planet. That's why I like how Birchbox sometimes does provide me with that. Okay, so this is the pencil. Let's see how it goes on. Oh, that goes on pretty smooth. I like that. Not terrible. Let's try to smudge it. Oh, it is. It smudges really nicely, so if I choose to smudge it. I don't know if it's waterproof or not, though. I prefer to have stuff that's at least water resistant. But that's not bad. I probably will give that one um, a try. I've been opening up more and more to black eyeliners and black mascaras, um, even though I still do prefer browns. So two for two so far. All right, now I have these these packets. Ooh, okay. I have facial purifying paper mask, star fruit. So that one looks like. I never had a paper mask. Another facial hydrating paper mask, blue agave. Yeah, agave. Don't know. Don't know how to pronounce that. That's what this one looks like. And finally, a facial brightening paper mask in rose. This is really exciting. These, I mean, not only are they for your face, and I love trying face stuff, just getting, you know, keeping my face clean, keeping it healthy, but there are three different ones, and they all serve different purposes. So it's, that's really, I think it's a nice, generous sample, and I get three different things. So that, it's just doing a nice job so far. And next up, we have a NYX eyeshadow. That's the color. They tell me it's in charcoal. Mm -hmm. My initial thoughts. All right, let's do a swatch of it. Oh, interesting. It's not nearly, you can see it right next, you can barely even tell. I'm going to try doing it again. That's what it is on my finger. Sorry, I've got other black on my finger from that eyeliner. But then when I put it on, it my hand it's okay um this is I, I really will say this is too dark for me I don't tend to do smoky eyes because I think I look like I got punched in the face probably because I don't do it right I'm just not a smoky eye person and so this I'll probably try to trade on that form I'm a part of on Facebook because uh, it just it's too dark I've always wanted to try a NYX eyeshadow I'm just a little bummed that the color is so dark because if you look at it I'm just all dark black black and this is a charcoal which may as well be called black um, so that's just okay. And then finally, it's the Kaylin. It looks to be, oh, it says Tinted Lip Balm. I received the Kaylin eyeliner in charcoal a while ago, and I loved it. And then I found, I think it was either on my Facebook group that I'm a part of or on Pinterest, a woman was uh, selling her purple and I really wanted it and I got it I think for something like maybe five or six dollars which this stuff is twenty one dollars at least the um eyeliner is so this is really exciting I mean I've I it doesn't even look like I've really used it and I wore it straight like every single day for probably at least a month so it's amazing I mean it comes with the the brush the applicator right attached like it's just it's just so savvy okay let's see the color though this is what it looks like in the bottle. I'm going to do a swatch to see what the color is because I'm not usually a red. Oh yeah. This probably won't be making it to my face. That's the red that it is. I mean it goes on really nice and creamy. It, I mean it seems like um, a texture of like a lipstick but this I probably, I won't, not probably, I won't use it. I do not wear red lipstick just because I have red hair and that color doesn't go well with my face. And I don't seem to have any occasion to wear red lipstick. Again, you guys know I teach and you don't want to really pull out all the stops with makeup um, 
because it can be really over too much for someone to be wearing when you're working with high schoolers like I am. So this I'll probably trade. If I can't trade it, it'll probably just go to my mom. She's a red lipstick girl. She has brown hair and tan skin. So this will probably go to her. So overall, here's what I have. I have the tinted lip gloss or tinted lip balm, excuse me, the eye pencil, the mascara, the NYX, and my three masks. So if you count these individually, I've got three four, five, six, seven samples, which I think is really great. I think that, and they're all really nice sizes. The um, eyeliner last time was full size. I'm imagining this is the full size because it's the exact same size as the eyeliner was. So that's a huge deal, even though I probably won't use it. That's still, I mean, the bag is paid for just with this one item. These masks, three different times I can use them, three different purposes. That's great. This is a full size eyeshadow. That's another, I mean, that's huge. This pencil, I'd imagine it's a full size, even though Starlux doesn't seem like a high-end brand. And then this is a nice size, generous sample of mascara. Do I love everything that I have? No. But, you know, I know of ways now where I can sort of swap or trade or sell or just give away to people so I don't feel like I'm wasting. And, I, you know, I feel like I got enough out of here that I do enjoy. I do think it's a, a good value. Um, but the battle definitely this month, hands down, goes to Birchbox. I pretty much loved everything in my Birchbox. And I mean, you can't top, that's hard to top unless I love everything in Ipsy, which I sadly did not. But let me know what you guys got. I really hope everyone gets a bag this month without any problems. I hope that Ipsy really gets it together and works it out with shipping and everything like that. But let me know what you guys think. And if you would like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then click subscribe. You can see my birch box from previous months, my birch box from September, all of that fun stuff. And let me know what you guys got down below in the comments because I love to hear the different variations of the bags. And I think it can be really fun to sort of learn more about people's um, tastes and interests. But that's it for me and I'll see you guys later. Bye.